Hello, in this video I am going to introduce uh, decrease and conquer. It's a design technique. Before uh, trying to define it, uh, let's, uh, let's go with an example. Uh, here is a problem of uh, finding some of uh, the elements of an array. Uh, let's start with brute force approach. Uh, brute force approach is all about going straightforward with pretty much by the definition. Uh, so sum of n elements is uh, adding each element separately one, uh, one, one after the other. So the, the idea is just to add each element in, in the loop uh, iteratively to, to a sum. Uh, because we are doing n additions here, uh, the time efficiency of this method belongs to theta of n. Uh, how about solving it by uh, divide and conquer method? Uh, so that idea is, is captured uh, in this expression. Sum of n elements is basically uh, sum of first n by 2 n elements and then sum of the remaining n, uh, n by 2 elements. Uh, so the uh, which is captured here and in this algorithm. Uh, so the base case is when n is equal to zero, it's the sum is zero. When n is equal to one, uh, the element itself is the sum. Uh, we, these are the recursive calls uh, for the first n by two elements and the remaining uh, elements. Uh, the, uh, the time complexity of this method is is captured in this expression. Uh, we are plus one is is mainly for is for this addition we are doing at this instance. And then uh, we are twice of t of n by 2 is because of these two recursive calls. Each of them take uh, uh, approximately n by 2 elements. Uh, when we solve this one, we realize this also belongs to theta of n. So this method is no better than uh, brute force in terms of time efficiency. Let's solve by another method. We are going to call it as decrease and conquer. So why do we call it as decrease and conquer? Because we are decreasing the problem size by one, and then uh, and then extending that solution to uh, to size of n. So sum of n elements is sum of n by n minus one elements using the same method, and uh, and then add nth element to it. So uh, the algorithm looks really simple for that. Uh, the base case is when n, n is zero, the uh, the sum is uh, just zero. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's uh, sum of n minus one elements uh, called recursively, and then add nth element in the end. So we are uh, we are we are assuming that we know how to find uh, n minus one el sum of n minus one elements, and then we are extending the solution to uh, nth element also. Uh, the time efficiency of that is 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 captured here. Uh, the plus one is again for uh, this plus here addition here, and uh, this also belongs to theta of n. So we have we have seen three uh, we have solved this problem by three different methods, and all of them happen to be uh, solving in the same time efficiency class. Right? Nevertheless, we made a point here of uh, different techniques. Let's solve another problem. Uh, suppose uh, of, of finding uh, a power n. Uh, let's start with brute force. Uh, a power n by definition is uh, multiplying a n times. Uh, so, uh, which can be done uh, in, in the loop again here, uh, just like the older problem. Uh, start with the product as one, and then multiply a n times here. All right. So obviously we are we are multiplying n times. That's why the time efficiency is uh, order of uh, n. And uh, divide and conquer approach, uh, a power n is, we are dividing it in two problems. So we uh, we find a power of floor of n by 2 and then a power of uh, seal of n by 2 and then multiply. The floor and seal will take care of odd case also. When n is odd, we, we are going to need them particularly. So the base cases are when n is 0, a power 0 is 1. When n is 1, a power 1 is just a. Otherwise, uh, recursively, these two are called a power C floor of n by 2 and then a power seal of n by 2. So the time efficiency of that is uh, again theta of n. Now, decrease and conquer idea is uh, a power n is a power n minus 1 times of a. Uh, so the base case is uh, when n is 0, a power 0 is just 1. Otherwise, uh, a power n minus 1, you find it recursively and then multiply with a. Uh, the time efficiency of this one also belongs to theta of n, just like the older problem. So this particular algorithm, I would uh, not only call it as decrease and conquer, I would call it as decrease by a constant and conquer because I am decreasing the problem size n by a constant 1 right, and then solving it. How about uh, decreasing the problem size by a constant factor instead of just a constant? Uh, that that method can be explored in this in this particular problem. 
a power n is uh, if n is even a power n is same as a power n by 2 square root of that if n is odd a power of uh, floor of n by 2 square it and then multiply by a uh, so let's go by the algorithm here in the base case when n is n is 0 it is a power 0 is just 1 find a power of floor of n by 2 if n is even it is just n by 2 and then square it uh, so uh, if n is even we are done here we already have the product uh, necessary product here if n is odd we got to multiply by one more a All right. so uh, the the time efficiency of this one is uh, t of n by 2 because we are making only one recursive call here of problem size roughly n by 2 and then at every instance we are making one multiplication here and then another one here when it is odd so in the worst case we make two Two, uh, two multiplications uh, that's why uh, if I solve this one we see th this particular uh, occurrence belongs to theta of log n which is which is different from the previous method and this improvement we got it mainly because of this operation in divided and conquer what we did was we found power a power of floor of n by 2 and then we found a uh, power of uh, a power of seal of n by 2 that we are avoiding here we multiply with the same thing here and when it is odd we just multiply with one more we are avoiding one more recursive call of uh, a size n by 2 so that is the improvement uh, here so we solved a power n using four different methods in the first three methods uh, we have we solve it uh, with uh, theta of n time and uh, the last one solves it by theta of log n time and why this is a huge improvement is suppose when n is a million you want to find a power million uh, these three methods will take uh, about a, uh, in, the, in the order of a million operations but the last one will take an, in the order of just one, 20 operations why 20 because log a million to base 2 is just 20 so that is the improvement uh, uh, we, we can see here in this method right so now wh what do we do in decrease and conquer in general so we reduce the problem instance into a smaller instance uh, of the same problem and solve the smaller instance uh, recursively and uh, obviously when we reach to a base case we stop the recursion there and extend the smaller instance uh, solution to the smaller instance uh, to obtain a solution to the original instance right because of this nature this is uh, very similar to the inductive methods uh, induction method and uh, more particularly uh, mathematical induction so this is also called as inductive method or incremental approach so we have seen already decrease by a constant and conquer decrease by a constant factor and conquer uh, otherwise uh, there is one more variant of this one which is decrease by variable size and conquer in when we are finding gcd of m comma n the problem is decreasing but we it's not a constant and it's not a constant factor either that's why we call it as uh, decrease by variable size and conquer right uh, thank you for watching bye